Welcome back to the channel, my friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Farmer Chris here, Lehigh Valley back to business. Valley Fruits and Veggies edition. Today's episode, we are now in phase three of prepping the land to replant strawberries into. Let's get into that video. So guys, now we're into phase three. We finished up with phase two with plowing down all the debris. Now we got all these big clumps and everything. We got to break down. We're going to disc that so we can break it down. Then we'll come through with the rototiller. Then we will rock pick it. Then we will rototill it a couple more times and hopefully it doesn't rain. Uh, and then we'll be able to uh, pull the plastic and show you all that process. <laughs> so we're on to step number two of phase three which is rototilling for the first time so that's a 96 inch rototiller fitted to the tractor so that's gonna be busting up these clumps and uh, getting this thing uh, smoothed out so we can pull plastic when you pull plastic you really want a smooth uh, smooth soil so it's gonna take a couple times to do it uh, and this is actually a slow part because you can only go like one mile per hour on the tractor uh, speed so you can uh, the rototiller will go through uh, nice and easy kind of hot today I think it's supposed to be 90 but anyway I spent most of the time in the tractor anyway today anyway okay so the rototilling is done one time through I think it's good enough that I can pull the rock picker through which is the next step step number three in phase three picking up rocks so kind of explain to you why we're going through to pick up rocks and these aren't really rocks, these are more like pebbles, but it's rocks like these. Unfortunately, when you pull plastic, it pulls all the soil and the rocks with it, and usually the rocks are close to the surface for some reason, go figure. So what happens is this gets in the way, so every time you go to push the plant in, it's inevitable that you hit a rock. And let me tell you, each acre has 15,000 plants planted by hand. When you hit 15,000 rocks, your wrist and your shoulder says, I don't think so. I did that on that field. That was two, three years ago now, and I didn't invent my rock picker yet. So we're gonna pick this field because it hasn't been done yet. Swing it around. That field has been picked. And let me tell you what a difference. Boy, planting was pretty easy. We only hit a couple rocks because it doesn't get all of them. But we go through, we pick them up, and that uh, allows us to pull clean, uh, clean soil under the plastic and makes planting a heck of a lot nicer for me because I'm the one that does most of the planting. At least the pushing of the plants in anyway. So here we go. Let's start picking some rocks. All right, guys. So a little update. So we tried with the rock picker. And unfortunately, well, it looked good on the surface. It's still a little bit too chunky underneath. So what happens is the rock picker wants to pick up all my soil. Because it's the same size as a rock. 
So, see, we don't want we don't want to pick up all my soil because then we're taking soil out of the field. So, we're gonna have to go through with the road tiller again, chop it up. Uh, second time through will definitely be good enough. But uh, yeah, joys of farming sometimes it doesn't go always as per plan. Huh? Alright guys, so a little update on my rock picking here. Uh, my chain broke. It is now all over. Uh, hopefully uh, it's not a broken link and they just like came loose and came apart but I'll have to uh, find out what's going on here well I got it all back together now I gotta turn it on and see if it works hopefully it works Alright, so step number three in phase three. I think this is step number three. I don't even remember. Rock picking. Got the machine back running. Hooked all those links back together. We took the one broken link out. There was enough slack in it to uh, just hook it back together, thankfully. Uh, not the greatest fix, but it worked because I was able to make a second pass through the field. So I just want to show you all the stone that this little rock picker that I invented out of a potato digger can do. On to rototilling and step four and right before we pull the plastic. All right guys, so step four, I think we're on step four now. Phase three is the final rototilling. Uh, so that we can pull plastic uh, later on. Uh, so we're gonna run through one more time. Get this uh, nice and fine. It is starting to dry up because it's so hot the last uh, few days and actually we haven't had rain for a few days. So uh, as you keep working the soil, keep incorporating air and the air dries it out. Um, as you keep doing it, the hotter it is, the faster it dries out. I think there's enough moisture in there from what I can tell. Uh, we'll see on this last pull through with the rototiller. Uh, and because uh, you do need moisture for the plastic. So I'll go over that uh, next phase. But uh, here we go. All right, guys, so we're three days past uh, the heavy rain we had. So we weren't able to pull the plastic the next day. So what happens is we got to re-rototill it because it gets this crust on top. 
like this. And the plastic puller, uh, the plastic layer does not like it when it's like that. Uh, likes it nice and fluffy. So what we have to do is just go through once with the rototiller. I know I had it all done and ready, but unfortunately we had ridiculous rain that night. So now we just want it like that. So we'll go through one time and be on our way. Okay, so now we're on like step five, six, or seven. I don't even remember now. Phase three, we actually are getting to lay the plastic. So as you can see, we pulled our first row over here. This is my mulch layer. It's a four foot wide mulch. Plus, plus the drip tape up there. So drip gets pulled down into these tubes here. Plastic mulch gets pulled underneath here. And then it all gets laid out as we go. Today we got our plastic done uh, just in time too because it looks like some big black scary clouds are coming our way. So hopefully it doesn't wash away all my edges. I've had that happen and then wind comes and then all my plastic blows away. That really sucks. I've had that happen many times. More, more in the beginning of my farming days than uh, the latter parts but still happen so then the next thing we got to do to finish this up which will not be now uh, we have to finish up our irrigation so at this end the main line the main line will come down here we'll have about four valves and then it hooks up to all these leads uh, the leads of drip tape that we have and that's how we water everything and get all the nutrients. So we do everything underneath the plastic. That way we're not wasting any overhead irrigation. Uh, we do uh, responsible irrigating. Only water the things we need to be watering. As always guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, share the video, smash that subscribe button, support the channel. Have a great one guys, we'll see you next video.